Do you need the most expensive tools for Amazon KDP niche research, or can you actually go for a cheaper version but just, just as well? You've got the premium products like Helium 10, which can be up to $99 US per month as a subscription model. You've got Publisher Rocket, which has recently gone to $199 as a one-off payment or lifetime payment. And then you've got other products like KD Spy, which is priced at $69 as a one-off payment. So is KD Spy as powerful as the other two? Well, I'm going to show you some uh, niche research that I'm going to conduct on KD Spy. Remember, I've also got a free 30-minute tutorial, which you can access either via YouTube, which I'll provide a link in the description below, or I've got a 30-minute tutorial style on Udemy, and you can access that as well, again, in the description below. So if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. My name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing. I'm here to be able to give you some guidance on KD Spy and then also looking at comparisons with the other big players in the niche research area. So let's get into it now. I'm gonna jump onto KD Spy. We'll do some niche research and just see how powerful this is. And we'll consider whether it is a great way, an entry level software program to use uh, and the benefits of it. So let's do that right now. So I'm on Amazon and this is the way that I'm gonna use KD Spy. So if you haven't purchased KD Spy before, then I can provide that link below. You'll also get a free course of mine, which is how to actually use it. It's a three hour course on niche research or mastering niche research using KD Spy. Uh, it's um, uh, valued at $99. So you'll get that for free if you purchase KD Spy using my link. So what we're gonna be doing we're going to choose one of these categories on the side. Let's go and we'll choose, say, children's books to begin with. Now you can choose any category you want to. Uh, but the way we're going to be using KD Spy is to really drill down into some of the competitors, how many reviews they've got, the price of the books, the keywords they're using, and there's some of the great things that KD Spy can offer you. So we go down further. Let's go to, um, let's choose cars, trains, and things that go. This is uh, an area that you might like. And then we can choose, again, another category which we might go down into further. So let's choose, say, trains, and let's see whether we can get some information here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to be looking through and see if there's common, any common themes that are running, and we might have a tracker that you can use. I've got one on my website, which you can download for free. Again, I'll provide that link in the description below, which is a niche research tracker that you can use. So we go down here and you might be a children's book author and you're looking for another book that you'd like to create regarding trains. Uh, so we go down here. If there's nothing in this section here, what you might like to do is to start adding some keywords. So we go train book for, say, kids age four to eight. So this will bring up 8,000 results. How competitive is it? Well, it looks fairly competitive, but only KD Spy can sort of tell us. So what I'm gonna do is bring this down. I'm gonna click on KD Spy up here, and then this will actually start creating the results that we want. It's got the train books. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna move myself out of the way. And what we can do is you can see the sales rank right here. So there's a couple of filters you can use for KD Spy. You can just click there and you can have a look and see is this is one of 20 results. Average sales ranks 500 already. We're looking for an average sales rank of under 150 to start with. So to begin with, it's not really what we're looking for. What I'd sometimes do is to get rid of the, the bottom three. We call them the outliners or outliers. They're the ones that books may be poorly written, but they feature in the top 20. And then that brings it down to 269,000 as an average sales rank. What I also like to do as part of my niche research with KD Spy is to look at the reviews. So I would consider a book with 150 reviews or less something that's obtainable for me. I think I can get 150 reviews over time, both using a uh, traffic that I can maybe get with organic and trying to build up or through my review team, my ARC team, so I can build up reviews over time. If we look at these books here, 5,900 reviews. If there's any books here, so uh, this one, Thrilling and Unbelievable Train Facts, that's only got five reviews, but it's ranked at 42,000. And it's got monthly review of 
an average of $1,231,000. This one's got 17 reviews, so train activity book for kids. So what you could do is you can have a look here and see um, some more details about it. You can track this book. So we could actually track it and find out how that book's actually been going over time. So it's ranked pretty well. Train activity uh, book for kids. We can do a cover search. We can do a title search. What we could do is actually copy that whole thing. We can go back to Amazon and we can actually plug this in right here. So we're just going to bring me back up here and we can search for it. Here it is right here. It's got 17 reviews. It's also available in Spiral Bound, which suggests to me it's by a publisher. Uh, you can do some more research. We can we can click on this book, have a bit of a look and see. 66 pages. It's ranked 49,000. Uh, it's in children's trains books. And what we might like to do is have a little bit of a look inside this book. We can have a look at the description. We can see the activities and what they include. We can also see the book specs. Uh, so it's an 8.5 by 11. So there's a lot of information you could obtain just by looking at the Amazon things. You can see the different information through the A-plus content. And then you've got more information right here, plus reviews, which are important to read because it actually give you a good opportunity to see what's working and what's not working. So we keep going up. This might be a book that you think, I might explore this a little bit further. So what we do is get rid of that train activity book for kids and we can do our search here 10,000 results maybe if we change ages maybe if we go 5 5 to 9 as an age bracket there's only 1,000 search results here whether that's a good thing or a bad thing we need to do some more niche or more, more research on that so what we do is go to kd spy game this is now going to give us the results for this particular uh, keyword which i just plugged in average sales ranks ticking over here uh, again what you can do there's a book here five to ten it's not got any reviews um it's 110 pages so that mightn't be the age group that you want to do you can see the potential popularity so it's good really good potential competition's okay uh, and the keywords performing quite well so what i do is filter the sales rank go here get rid of the bottom three still rank pretty high have a look at the different titles are there any books here where you've got some, well, we can do some more analysis or insight. So we can go analysis. We can find out if the keyword is in the title, keyword in the description, and the rating and the reviews. See how it's highlighting in green here and the sales rank. You can also check out that, which is really handy to do. You can also check out the insights tool. You can use ChatGPT to do a market intelligence report. So you can use the prompt or copy it and go to ChatGPT and it'll give you some intelligence, demographics, trend analysis, market problems and questions. And the other thing is we can do is the word cloud. So these are the words that are featuring within the title of the most popular books uh, across these uh, top 50 books. So if you're looking for keywords for your title, your subtitle, for Amazon ads, then this will bring it up and it will provide the top five down the bottom here as well. So this is some great way of doing, being able to do some niche research in this area. So we're gonna go back again and we're going to check out another particular topic. Let's, let's explore something else outside of this. So we're going to go back to, uh, wrong one. We're gonna to go to here and we're going to go bestsellers then what we're going to do is we're going to look for a different area. So we might go to, let's go to sports and outdoors. Then what we might do, we might go to golf. And then this will bring up the best sellers in golf. What I like to do then is start to go through all the different uh, results that we've got for golf. Having a look at rules, there's uh, excuse handbooks. Are there any low content books? Are they all high content books, mid-range books, children's books? You can have a look and see if there's anything you think would be something you could create yourself. 
uh, we keep going down and we might have we might actually do we might do a bit of a search golf books for beginners or even golf books for kids let's see what's there so 7000 results let's do a KD spy search here see what these results bring up so we just wait for these results to float wait for them so this looks a little bit better than earlier on with the average sales rank it's still going up a little bit remember we'll get rid of the bottom three results once we do our sales rank filter so we filter there one two three average sales rank 156,000. so it's quite good uh, you can then look at the reviews so too many reviews here so this one under 150 reviews ranked at 37,000 as uh, 37,000 so help my dad lost his golf ball so we can have a look at this a little bit further we can again we can track it if we want to so this allows us if we come back another time in a month's time to see where it's actually tracking uh it's, it's current sales rank it says eight and oh, okay so it's paperback there we are paperback right there 37,000 if I go to this let's find out what this book's actually about so I'm going to copy it then we're going to go into Amazon. Here it is right here. We can check it out. So it's, it looks like a kid's storybook here. And we can have a look. It's got 142 ratings, the reviews, and it's got some from the editorial reviews. It's number 37 in golf books. It's 27 pages. And this will even give you an insight into the book as well through our review so my husband loves say, reading this book to our daughter it's just a really cute short story and i would definitely recommend as a gift to any golf obsessed dad so you can see that will give you a really good insight into what the book's about the illustrations that it used you can look at the reviews as well and looking at kd uh sorry at kd spy we can actually go back into this area and we can do some more research even on just on this book alone but when we've done this keyword let's see what actually comes up as the search results for this one it looks very very high so i probably wouldn't go into that uh, area uh, but again it's showing you the different books that are available we've looked at so we do the kids golf books and we can see there's six thousand results here but we've used KD Spy before, which will actually give us uh, some good results here to, to filter through, to look and find out if there's any books that you think you can create. You can see the sales rank. We can do an analysis in a moment. So once this finishes with the data, we've got it under books right under here. We do our filter. So we're doing our filter here. Get rid of those bottom three. Brings it to 181,000. We can have a look. We can also hover above here as well so just say just say it was this book right here we can look at the cover across google and where it is actually featuring a featuring across all of those as well so that's another thing you can do uh, and we've got our book tracking and you can also see the word cloud so you can use these words for your title or subtitle uh, so that's just a quick look at how this has actually sort of been working for looking at different areas it's important to use different categories we can drill down uh, we can actually use the the feature for the keywords so it actually it does punch well above its weight you can use this information for your niche research you can use it for developing keywords to help with your title and subtitle you can uh, look do an analysis to find out what the author is actually doing uh, in regards to the book pages and their pricing as well so this is a powerful tool it's going to be one of those good entry point tools that you can use and as i mentioned if you did purchase it using my link you get my free mastering niche research course which is a three-hour course that you also get in addition to having kd spy which is a great option for you so i hope this information's helped wanted to give you some information about KD Spy, how it works. And remember, I've got my 30-minute full tutorial about each element of KD Spy and the best way to use it for your niche research for Amazon KDP. Um, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.